Hello everyone, Namaste, this is Stephanie. Today we are going to learn how you can create an AWS alias, right? So let's understand what is AWS alias. Let me like get out from this account first, okay? So once you go into AWS console or AWS management console, right? We used to do it with uh, console.aws.amazon.com, right? It will ask you to log into the AWS account. When it asks you to AWS, you have two ways of logging into, right? You will be providing your a 12 digit account number or you will be providing this account alias so this is we are going to learn how you can create this account alias on aws so first question will be like even why you want to create this account alias so if you're like me who's having difficulty to remember this 12 digit you want to have some kind of user friendly name right so it will be easy for you to remember also, let's say if you have a multiple, you're working with an organization where you have a multiple AWS account, one for dev, one for QA, one for fraud, and multiple sandboxes account, right? You wanna have some kind of friendly name so it will be easy for you to remember which accounts belongs to or which, uh, you know, which accounts to belong to which which, which unit or which, uh, maybe it's prediction, dev, or QA, et cetera, right? Um, the other and most important is you, if you do not looking to expose your account number by any reason like for the security reason or or any other reason to the end user and um, that's where you can create an account alias right so for instance I have created this account alias let me zoom in so this is like aws.puc. so if I go and use this account alias here in my browser um, so it will be taking me to to the login screen so my bad it seems like i have changed the name so here if i just put right uh, here right now with poc so if i'm going into my account uh, my username is aws poc i have provided the password that user and i get into this user here right so first thing you need to go you to you is identity and access management which is IM and when you're clicking on IM so for me the I was I am was showing on the screen itself because I have recently used it for me for you maybe it's not showing so what you can do is you can go to this search bar and type I am this is really nice feature which we have in AWS right you can just simply type in and it will list you the service so once you are here uh, you have to go to the dashboard uh, once you're in dashboard, you must be able to see this sign in URL for I am user and an account. So remember, this is right. This is the account which I have used to log into. So what you can do is, so, so yeah, sorry, this is the account which I have used, uh, which is being without removing the POC. So earlier I was having the same name, no reason to score the version of POC, but I changed it. So what I can do is like let's change it, let's change it back to the what I had what I used to have earlier, right? Uh, so I can go and add it here if I'm just saying like okay, and just keep in mind right uh, this is, this is a unique. So let's say if I'm giving giving something like prod, I think prod is very common, right? Maybe it has already been used it. So if you see here, the account alias has already been used. So if I go and give like not need prod let's see okay this is not being used by many this is not being used by any uh, anyone else other than me so it is allowed me to have this name uh let me say you know, i wanna have maybe it's underscore aws underscore p o c so this is saying see this is like the old name so i got this old name let me copy and let me get out from this account first once here, I will be typing this here, uh, this name here, right? Now I got this different alias. So if I can go with AWS POC, provide me the password. Okay, bam. So now we are here in this account. So this is how you're able to create and see here, right? I'm able to see this new alias which I have just created. So this is where you're able to create an account alias on AWS. Um, uh, you know, if you like this video, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will be looking to upload many such videos. Thank you very much.